Hello, I'm Sam Stovall, U.S. Equity Strategist for S&P Capital IQ. In this week's Sector Watch, I discussed our second quarter earnings outlook. Since second quarter price declines can't be blamed exclusively on Greece, might they also have been influenced by the erosion of earnings per share growth forecasts for the second and third quarters of this year, as well as a reduction in full year forecast to a gain of only 0.2 percent? Capital IQ recently reported that aggregate second quarter 2015 S&P 500 operating earnings per share estimates are expected to fall 4.3 percent year on year, which would be the first drop since the third quarter of 2009. Most of the blame goes to energy, which is seen declining 63 percent. Indeed, excluding energy, second quarter S&P 500 EPS would be up nearly 4 percent. In addition, a 20 percent rise in the U.S. dollar index and a 42 percent decline in oil prices should also affect EPS growth for this quarter and beyond. History says but does not guarantee that the third quarter of the year is notorious for market and sector price declines as the S&P 500 and six of its sectors posted unfavorable results on average during the past 25 years. The weaker than expected second quarter price performance may actually be a reflection of investors' concerns that go beyond Greece or China or Puerto Rico or Iran to include weakening EPS growth expectations for this quarter as well as for the rest of the year. I'm Sam Stovall and I'll talk with you again next week.